You're in the Big Apple, New York. You order an Uber. What arrives? A taxi, a yellow cab. Okay. So I want to hear from taxi drivers and Uber drivers what they think about this. And I also would like to hear from more riders, right? You ordered an Uber and a yellow taxi arrives. What do you think? The other day, if you're out in the Big Apple and you order an Uber, you just might get matched up with a taxi cab. A taxi cab. Well, Uber says this could actually improve pickup times. It can improve pickup times. Are saying they have some concerns. And Teresa Priolo explores this. Here's a question you should ask yourself. If you ordered an Uber and a taxi showed up, sent by the rideshare giant, would you care? It doesn't matter. I need to get to where I need to get. And it doesn't matter. Need to get. It's a reality you may be faced with someday soon. Through its partnership with apps Curb and Arrow, Uber is sending a yellow cab your way when you order an Uber X if it is the closest car around, turning bitter rivals into strange bedfellows. So bit of rivals, Travis Kalanick and crew with their um, investors try to drive the taxi market out. Like they were literally planning on destroying them, right? And and explain to me, and New York, uh, the people that run the taxi organization, explain to me how you climbed into bed, right? Into this uh, double bed, this queen size bed with Dara Kosha Shawi. E explain that one to me. And then suddenly you guys made out and made love and it was all hunky-dory and now these yellow things appear on the app. I mean, did you sell those New York taxi drivers out? You certainly screwed over the, the Uber drivers, Daryl Koshishawi, that's obviously evident. But how do the taxi drivers feel about this? If the taxi um, uh, need the partnership with them because they're so popular with the folks now. Sweetheart, if you're a rider, you don't understand the dynamics. The rideshare companies and the meter taxi industry have been at war. Taxis claim Ubers have saturated the market and undercut their business. Uber believes, quote, this is a huge opportunity for drivers who struggle to find street hails in many parts of the city and a real time saver for riders, which is why we've seen thousands of taxi drivers choose to take these trips already. The taxi Workers Alliance says this new deal was done without consent or input from taxi without drivers. Consent or input. And in the end, it is the drivers who lose. They're going to be paid below the meter rate. And the meter for a yellow cab driver is sacred because that meter rate is what allows drivers to cover their expenses Thank and you. take home a dignified Thank living. You. New Yorkers we spoke with only care about one thing, their safety. As long as it's safe and as long as I can identify the vehicle, I have to identify the vehicle. And on the issue of better pay, the city council is debating a bill right now that would make these apps pay the cabbies the same or more as the metered fare for these e-hails. On the Upper East Side, Teresa Priolo. So, you know... They, they want to be paid. They don't want to be paid. And, 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 and he, here's the point, right? These yellow cab taxi drivers arriving with a cab, they know their expenses. They want to be paid taxi rate. They do not want to be paid Uber rates. Very, very simple. So that should tell you everything. If they do not want to be paid Uber rates, there is something fundamentally wrong with Uber rates. That's where the fixing needs to take place. Right. So the adjustment here, oh, these taxi drivers, this is what they're organizing, will get those taxi rates. If they are getting the taxi rates, I want to make a point here. And this is a lawsuit in the making. If they are getting the taxi rates on the Uber platform, then every single Uber driver should get the equivalent raise. Thank you.